And my all my amateur fights and my nine fights, I finished all of them, you know, except one. And uh, a lot of my first career, professional career fights, I finished all those fights. But you know, I had to switch up my style a little bit, make sure I'm well rounded, use my wrestling a little bit. So it was great to uh, fight like that way. I usually I know I can fight and get that finish against a top 15 guy who's never been finished before and uh, finish him and do it in a dominating uh, fashion. So it feels great. I know that I'm even, I can even do better. So I'm very excited to get back to the drawing board and just continue to improve and uh, bring something even better next time I fight. He, he took the fight on, on short notice. Did you, train, uh, did you change anything in your strategy and, and training camp for, for the fight? Uh, not at all. You know, uh, he was a striker, uh, shoot the box more kind of guy. I train with a lot of Muay Thai Brazilians, uh, the best of them. And uh, the guy I was supposed to fight, and he was 9-0. He was a striker, uh, well-rounded jiu-jitsu. So uh, not at all. You know, I just made sure I was the best in the boxing, in the kickboxing, in the wrestling, in the jiu-jitsu. Uh, you know, I was kind of afraid that he might even get hurt maybe a week before the fight or get sick. And I might have to fight somebody else. So, uh, yeah, just make sure I'm the best well-rounded fighter I can be. So no matter who it is, I can fight. Do you think you're? Do you hope you're? You're getting more respect from the fans after a, a big win like 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 this one? Of course, you know I feel uh, I feel like the fans really respect me. You know, uh, you know I'm very respectful towards everybody I fight. You know I don't have bad intentions on anybody. Uh, it's a sport. Uh, we all compete for the for the people, and I fight for the people. You know, uh, I'm a I'm a people champ, and uh, yeah, you know I'm gonna continue to win, continue to be respectful, and continue to earn my earn my spot in the UFC. I'm gonna work hard. And I'm, I don't want nothing for free. I'm gonna earn it. And when I do, it's gonna be even more tasteful. Before the fight, did you believe in a victory so impressive like that? Yeah, you know, I visualized, I visualized this fight so many times. I kept telling everybody, man, I don't want to visualize no more. I just want to fight. You know, I trained so hard, uh, harder and better than I've ever had before. I was really dedicated, uh, physically and per, you know, mentally. So, uh, yeah, you know, I saw, uh, I did see it coming. I, I knew I was going to win. I was very confident. I was very relaxed. And, uh, yeah, you know, I saw, I saw me winning. And, uh, you know, I think I could have won the first round if I didn't go crazy, you know. But uh, I kind of got a little carried away. And the second round, I relaxed a little bit. And that's what happened when I relaxed. There's a tough season going on between ATT and Black Zillions. Was it, was it harder to, to get ready for this fight with, with everything going on in, in, the, in the gym? No, sir. I'm a very focused guy. You know, not, uh, nothing can distract me. And uh, if anything, uh, seeing that show go on uh, made me more focused. I saw a lot of my teammates fight their hearts out. And it really brought something special out inside of me, that hunger. It made me want to be in their position, you know, like the glory and honor. It was just very motivating. Uh, we, uh, the, it was, as, you, as you see in the tough show, uh, ATT is in a lot of bad positions. So just to see my team uh, fight hard and what you, I can't say anything, but just to see them fight hard is so motivating. And uh, Dan Lambert, uh, Ricardo Laborio, Conan, and they've done such a great job, for, so much for us. And just everybody's working together so hard and it's made us tighter as a team. And uh, we just believe in each other. We're stronger together. You know, we're an army and we're coming. What do you want next for you in the, in the UFC? Uh, whatever, you know, my main goal is to be number one, is to be a champion. And, uh, you know I, know, I know it's not gonna be easy. I know it's not gonna, it's not something anybody can say, oh, I'm gonna be a champion. No, I, I say I'm gonna be a champion, but I'm gonna earn it. I'm gonna work hard. And whoever they continue to put in front of me, I'm gonna continue to take them out. So I never call anybody out because I feel maybe I could call somebody out that's weak and I don't want to do that. So whoever they put in front of me, I respect that. I respect Joe Silva, Sean Shelby, and Dana White. That's their job to make the matchmaking. It's my job to win. It's my coach's job to train me and uh, it's the fans job to come and watch and I'm going to do my job and I'm going to continue to work hard and win. After the win, you, you said the Brazilian government should, should treat us better. Why did you say that? Uh, because, man, I see, uh, I see, like, being in Brazil, you know, I see that such good people. And, uh, you know, I, I, I come from a very poor country, a country with nothing. So I want to help my people. And just to see, you know, the kids, favela kids, and just to see Brazil, you know, there's so much more life that they can have, so much more freedom, so many more things they can have, you know. And I feel like it's shut down, you know, because they want to keep them locked down in the cage and they want to come up, but they can't. So uh, I feel like that's how my life was, you know, it want to keep me down, but I want to come up 
and I'm gonna continue to fight up to come, you know, and they're trying to push me down, but I'm gonna keep fighting. So, yeah, I feel like the people deserve the same kind of thing I do, an opportunity. And yeah, you know, that's why I said that, you know, I, I believe they deserve more and I've got opportunity.